If you're interested in Section 8 investing, I want you to tune in to my man D-Rock's video because we're talking all about low-income properties in the Section 8 program. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show... Uh, where I work with investors from around the country, uh, around the world, actually, around the world, uh, to help them build, grow, start uh, their real estate portfolios. And my guy today, Derek, I'm going to call you D-Rock, bro. D-Rock is an investor from Cali, okay? D-Rock has $25,000, right? You got twenty-five grand that you'd like to invest. Uh, you're thinking about doing fixer uppers, okay? And uh, you're fine with the Section Eight program. And uh, you'd like to get uh, your feet wet, get your feet wet in the game, brother. Um, what I did for you, though, I, I went a different route for you, okay? Because here's the thing: when you when you have twenty five thousand dollars, I'm not saying that that is not enough money to start investing, because it absolutely is. And this particular property is going to actually require a lot less than twenty five thousand dollars. But it's it's hard to do fixer uppers uh, on such a tight budget, right? Because when you do fixer uppers, brother. Uh, essentially, right, if you're trying to do like the burr thing or, or, or things of that nature, try to get these fixer-uppers, a lot of times these properties are very rough and, you know, th that's what a fixer-upper is, right? By definition, it's a property that needs to be fixed up. So it's very, very hard to get approved for loans, okay? So you need to go in and pay cash, right? So there's really no scenario where you can go in and buy a property cash and have a bunch of money to renovate it, but do all that on a $25,000 budget. It's just not going to happen, right? But, but my man, D-Rock, that does not mean you are unable to get into the game because your boy JY's hooked you up with something that I think will work for you, okay? 3103 Lexington Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio, 44055. This is like a D.C. neighborhood, okay? So, there's going to be some risks with that, okay? But, hey, we are going to alleviate those risks with the Section 8 program, right? That's what today's show is all about, brother. It's about the Section 8 program. This particular property, what we'll be able to do with the Section 8 program, put a tenant in there paying approximately $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. And as far as what you need to do to fix it up, brother, almost nothing. This is a property that is listed by a company called Cleveland Property Management, they just did a rent-ready renovation, so this thing is fresh, it's clean, it's ready to rock. We're going to put in the purchase agreement for them to supply us with a clear point-of-sale report. If you don't know what that means, if you've never heard the terminology point-of-sale report or POS for short, pause the video, and in the show notes below, I got a video explaining the whole point-of-sale process in the Cleveland market. Going forward, I'm going to assume everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? So we're going to ask for a clear POS, and, and for all intents and purposes, is the property is essentially rent ready, right? They went uh, with a neutral color throughout the whole thing. Okay, they got some fresh carpet. They got uh, you know, you know, decent fixtures in here, right? Like. Would I like to see a little bit more of an updated kitchen? Sure. But, hey, we're in, like, a D.C. neighborhood, and we're going for the Section 8 tenants, right? And uh, you're a baller on a budget, essentially. So uh, this is more or less the best thing we're going to be able to get. Now, uh, one thing, it just it's caught my eye, why we're on this picture, okay? Uh, I'm going to go over the price I think you should pay and the estimated uh, performance of this property. But one thing I want to note, why we're here... Whenever I do these deals for you guys, whenever I do these videos, right, you're getting due diligence on the property, but also on the neighborhood about the validity of the property as an investment, right, about the tenant profile, the tenant risk, right? You're getting a very unique insight, like, yo, do not try to rent this out to cash-paying tenants. You got to go Section 8. Because you'll get torn up in a neighborhood like this. You don't believe me, check out the Tennis from Hell show, right? But the Section 8 program, that alleviates it, okay? But 
There is more due diligence that needs to happen outside of these videos. These videos do not eliminate the need for all other due diligence. One of those important due diligence factors is a general home inspection. We got to get an inspector that you're going to hire. It could be anybody in the world, whoever you want, or I can give you referrals, whatever's more convenient for you. We're going to send them in there to spend about three, four hours in the property checking everything out with a fine tooth comb. And the thing I really want him to check out is this drop ceiling, right? I usually do not like to see drop ceilings anywhere other than the basement, right? Because oftentimes that could be a red flag that our seller is a lazy ass. There was an issue, usually a water issue that they covered up, didn't do it the right way. So we're going to make sure our inspector checks that out, gets the get, gets his head up in there, sees what's going on. I wanted to make sure I got that out there before I forgot about it while we were looking at it. But other than that, everything else looks good, dude, for what we're doing on our budget. I mean, this is just a nice rental property. We'll put ourselves a Section 8 tenant in there. I mean, we got, you know, more or less all new looking fixtures in the, in the bathroom. It's looking pretty decent. Personally, I would have liked to see a new uh, mirror, right? It would only been a couple hundred bucks to get a new mirror there. Maybe my guys will take care of that. If you want us to take care of that, we'll go in there uh, before we put a tenant in there. We could take care of that. We could spend a couple bucks just improving a few things. Also, you know, there might be a few things the inspector notices um, but other than that I mean things are looking uh, you know pretty good down here like another thing we may want to do right we may want to spend a couple bucks maybe two grand cleaning up this basement right we could go ahead and dry lock this like what you see here this is some moisture so we can go ahead and dry lock this whole thing make it look fresh make it look clean uh, but mostly it's pretty rent ready the big ticket items taken care of right the hot water tank, I'm guessing that's probably only a couple years old. Same deal with the furnace, right? Those are big ticket items. This, you got to replace these every 15 years, they cost a G. You got to replace these every 30 years, they cost about three Gs, right? So we got, we got good bones here, good cosmetics, just a few minor things uh, that we may just want to touch up. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. And then here you got the yard. They took down the garage. So if you want the tenants to cut their own grass, uh, we'll need to provide them a shed, maybe spend a G there. Uh, or you could have Holton Wise uh, cut their grass, whatever is more convenient for you. If you have Holton Wise cut the grass, it's going to add about $528 uh, to your annual costs, right? And uh, they've listed this thing at $48,000. I think that's a little high, though. I think we can work them down, right? It's been on the market for quite some time, 117 days, right? Over three months, right? So I think we can work them down a little bit, especially notating some of those things. So I would like to pick this up for you at $40,000. I think that's where we should start the bidding. And, you know, when we send the inspector in there, things that could help me negotiate, like maybe we start the bidding at 40, we end up a little higher. But then after the inspection comes about, maybe he shows me what's going on under that drop ceiling. I could work the price down and other things, right, that we know about, right? Like the the moisture staining in the basement, things of that nature. But all told, with what I'm seeing here and some of the red flags I'm anticipating, I think $40,000 is a very good price for this property. We put ourselves a Section 8 tenant in there. They're paying 1000 bucks a month. The average expenses should pencil out to approximately 421 leaving us with an NOI of 579 or 6948 And here's the good part, bro. Here's the kicker, okay? It's a 17.4 cap if you pay cash, but you're not going to pay cash. You're going to get a loan, okay? You're going to put down 25%. The bank's going to lend you 75%. Low, fixed interest, tax deductible interest. If you need lenders, DRock, I got you covered. Everybody else, I got you covered too. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Anybody that needs lenders, I got lenders. Write loans, all 50 states. We're talking 30-year fully amortized loans, low interest, tax deductible interest. You do that, DRock, you only need to put up 10 thousand dollars you got 25 grand let's put 10 into this deal keep 15 for the next deal bank loans you the other 30 all told it should be about a 54 and a half percent return on your money now that's not calculating 
if you want to pay Holton Wise to cut the grass every year, that'll add 528 to your cost. It's also not calculating my team going in there and spending some money uh, in there. So you could have a couple other upfront costs if we want to improve things like that mirror that was uh, the wrong color or having my guys dry lock it. But all told, we got a pretty damn rent ready property and i think 40k is going to be the price and definitely section 8 is the right strategy uh for anybody out there who's thinking about going section 8 i want to draw your attention and you too d rock i want to draw your attention to my website holtonwines.com then you go over to the fac folks and then uh, we got facts for everybody, facts for the tenants, facts for traditional sellers who we buy houses off of, and then facts for you guys, right? You guys watching the show, my investors, okay? Huge fact, check it all out, goes through everything, the buying process. Like the very first thing you see is our property management agreement, right? We're all about transparency here, so you can see every single thing we charge for you. And then we go through it all, the buying process, the management process, yada, yada. But what I really want you to look at is up here, you click this, the Section 8 fact. I got a whole big old fact here discussing everything there is to know about Section 8 and how we will navigate the program for you, right? Because Section 8's tough. It's, it, it's like a cheat code uh, to low-income investing, though, right? On one hand, it's amazing because we get these high rents and they're government-guaranteed, which alleviates, like, 90% of the issues we deal with when we're in lower-income neighborhoods. But... The issue uh, you get is there's a lot of logistical problems like dealing with the housing authorities that handle the Section 8 program. Uh, but this right here, this explains how Holton Wise will do all of that on your behalf. We take care of all the BS, dude. So all of the issues that we're going to have, just read through this. I don't want to burn a bunch of time just reciting it to you in this video. Just read it at your leisure. But it explains everything about the Section 8 program and how we'll work for you on your behalf and get through that. Because, like, dude, it sucks. Like, if you ask one question to five people that work for Section 8, you're going to get five different answers. But my team... We've got thousands of properties, all of my personal holdings that are in C or D neighborhoods. Well, everyone that's in a D neighborhood and a large majority of the ones in C neighborhoods are Section 8. I, I firmly believe in that program. And uh, if you go this route with your budget, I think you need to do Section 8. If for whatever reason you don't want to do Section 8 or you don't dig this property, what we need to do, DRock, is we need to hit a pause on your investing till you can save up a little bit more money. Like if you're trying to get into like a B-class neighborhood, but you're trying to do like a fix and flip, bro, I need about $100,000 in cash, right? So 25 ain't going to cut it. But if you dig what I've presented to you today, this deal, I think, is going to work good. So let me know what you want to do. Let me know if you want to move forward with the plan I've laid out, try to pick this sucker up, or if you want to hit pause, save up a little more money, get yourself a bigger bankroll, and then we'll go back into it on the next try in like a B-class neighborhood, and we'll try to get you a fixer-upper, right? That's the cool thing with the packages you guys can buy from me. They don't expire, right? D-Rock, I won't be your on-the-ground partner for years to come here. So you have these MLS packages from me, dude. We did a video today. If it's not exactly what you want and you need to save up for another year or two, great. When you're ready, reach back out to Holden Wise and we'll get started again, right? These are all banked in your account. There is no expiration. Anybody else out there who's watching this, you like this level of service, you want to work with my team and the way D-Rock is, go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, Order MLS search analysis packages yourself. I prefer the multi-property packages, guys, because you guys give me your info, right? But just like my man D-Rock, sometimes I need to, you know, change up what you think your plan should be a little bit based upon my market knowledge, right? If you guys knew everything there was to know about the Cleveland market, there really wouldn't be a need for me and the Holton Wise team, right? So that's why it's good to do the bigger packages because it's like an evolution. You tell me what you want. I tell you what's possible based on that. And maybe you like it. We move forward. If not, we change gears. We try something else, right? So we go back and forth. Long-term thing right so check those out if you're not ready to buy just yet folks that's totally cool we are all about education check out the other stuff we've got here on holton wise tv do yourself a solid and make sure you smash that subscribe button so you get all of our latest content sent to you because holton wise tv is real estate investing made easy 
This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.